through page two of your volume gizmos activity. So activity A, get the gizmos ready. Drag all objects to the cabinet. All right, so I'm gonna move my magnifying glass away. I'm gonna drag this into the cabinet and then move the 25 milliliter graduated cylinder, the 250 milliliter beaker and the two milliliter pipette to the counter. So for graduated cylinders, again, we have these three to choose from. I'm gonna grab this smallest one, because you can see it ends with 25 right there. And so that's our 25 milliliter graduated cylinder, the 250 milliliter beaker. We only have one beaker here, so that's pretty easy to figure out. You can also see that it ends at 250 up there. And then the two milliliter pipette. So we only have one pipette. This right here is a pipette. You may have heard this being called an eyedropper before. So if you've ever had to take eye drops, this is kind of what it'll look like of what's being dropped into your eye, um, but we call it a pipette. All right, so I've gotten the gizmos ready. So now introduction. Graduated cylinders are precise tools for measuring volume. Most graduated cylinders are marked in milliliters. There are a thousand milliliters in a liter. So goal, fill a graduated cylinder with a given amount of water. So prepare, place the 250 milliliter beaker below the faucet and fill it with water. You'll use the beaker as a source of water in your experiments. All right, so I'm gonna take this, move it right here, and I'm gonna fill it with water. It doesn't say to a certain amount, so I'm just gonna fill it all the way up. All right, measure. To pour water from the beaker to the graduated cylinder, move the beaker over the graduated cylinder. Add about 15 milliliters of water to the graduated cylinder. Does not have to be exact, so I can get just about 15. And I can see the 15 line is right there. So I'm gonna take this beaker, and I'm just gonna move it above, and it'll automatically start to pour. And I'm gonna wait for it to get around 15. Eh, close enough. So now, place the magnifier over the water line. All right, place the magnifier over the wall water line. Um, click the box, talking about this one, click edit and sketch what you see. Label the large tick marks on your sketch. So I'm gonna click on the box, I'm gonna click edit, and it's gonna bring us back to this drawing page. And then we have our wonderful box right here. And so, I'm gonna draw my graduated cylinder. One line, the other line. I'm gonna put a big line right here for the 15 milliliter. You can kind of see the 10 milliliter, so I'll put a big line there. Um, and then let's see if I can add those smaller ones. You can see that you don't have to have much artistic skill for this, because mine looks extremely wonky. And so I'm just gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna go ahead and draw my water line. So my water line dips below the 15, and it's about in between these two lines right here. So I'm gonna dip down a little bit below the 15. And you're just gonna try to do as best you can. This is a very small space, so it doesn't have to be perfect. So that is as good as I think I can make it. I'm gonna press save and close. I have my beautiful drawing here. Label the large tick marks on your sketch. Ooh, it asks to label. So let's go ahead, click and edit again. And I think, so I have my two tick marks right there, but I think I'm gonna add a text box. So right there, add a text box, type in 15 milliliters, drag the text box, so it's a little bit bigger. All right, and then another text box below for 10 milliliters. Again, click and drag to make that bigger so that it fits in the space. Now save and close again. All right, so I have my now complete beautiful picture. All right, now let's answer some questions. How many medium tick marks lie between the two labeled tick marks? So our 15 and our 10 are labeled. So now in between here, how many medium tick marks do I have? 
you'll notice that there is the large one, there's a small one, and then the medium one. So there's three different sizes of tick marks. So in between 10 and 15, there's one, two, three, four, and then up to five. So we can see that there is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So each one of these medium tick marks is one milliliter. What is, oh, how many tick marks? I jumped the gun there. There are four tick marks in between there. One, two, three, four. How much volume does each represent? One milliliter. How much volume does each small tick mark represent? So then in between each one milliliter, there is another one halfway through. So that means that it represents a half of a milliliter. So it's in between the one. Now, estimate the water volume in the graduated cylinder to the nearest 0.1 milliliter. Remember to read from the bottom of the curved meniscus. So let's go over here. So this meniscus, again, this is the curve. We're reading from the bottom. It's definitely below the 15, definitely above the 10. So again, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So it's above 14, below 15. So it's going to be 14 point something. But now I can see that this bottom tick mark is kind of around here. It doesn't quite reach that 0.5 mark. So it's below 14.5. And so now this is where we take our educated guess. Because I can't tell exactly if this is 14.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4. I just know it's above 14 and below 14.5. So I'm going to estimate it at 14.3 milliliters. But now, of course, this number right here is not going to be the same for you because you may have filled it up a little bit more or a little bit less. So whatever your volume is, it does not have to be this volume, just somewhere around 15. All right, so now, question three. Measure. Scientists use pipettes, so that's the eyedroppers, oh, also known as eyedroppers, to add or remove small amounts of water. To fill the pipette, place its tip in the beaker water and click the black bulb once. I'm going to move this out of the way so I can reach it. I'm going to take my pipette. I'm going to move it over to the top of the beaker. I'm going to click the black bulb, and now I have a pipette full of water. To release a small amount of water, place the pipette above the graduated cylinder and click the bulb. Let's try it out. So I'm going to click the bulb. Oh, got a very tiny amount. Let's move my magnifying glass back. You can see just a very tiny amount. Do this until the graduated cylinder contains exactly 17.5. So let's fill this up. So I'm going to keep going. So this is 15, 16. So I'm at 16, around 16.5. I've reached 17, so now, oop, I ran out of water. Let's get more water. There we go, took a second. So back over here. So I'm at 17, so I need 17.5. All right, so it looks like the bottom of that curve is just about 17.5. Show your work. Open the Tools tab in the lower left and click Camera. Right click the screenshot, click Copy, and then paste the image below. Label the image 17.5 milliliters. When you are finished, attach the image to this document and turn it in. Although you'll notice there's another page, so don't turn it in quite yet. So actually, you know what? I might even just delete that. Attach the image to this document. So what they're saying is down here, there's this tool, and there is a screenshot. So it just took a screenshot. So I have my screenshot. It says right-click image to copy or download. Um, right-click is also that two-finger tap. Um, so go ahead and do that two-finger tap. Copy image. Then we're going to come over here, and it wants us to put the image right here. So we are going to paste, and now we have our screenshot. And then you can make it 
smaller so it doesn't take up so much space. All right, so that is page two. Uh, page three is the next video.